Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to run Meterpreter via PowerShell in order to bypass antivirus, and I'll also be demonstrating how to use EvilWinRM in order to pass the hash and log in as any other user on a system. So right now you can see I'm looking at a Kali Linux virtual machine, and I'm also already logged into a public-facing virtual private server. And the first command we're going to want to run is just a simple MSF console that uses a resource file that will automatically start a handler for us. So I'm going to click enter. And while that's being set up, I can show you the command I use to generate the PowerShell interpreter, which is this one right here. And as you can see, it's a very simple MSF Venom command. The only difference being that we have the tech F flag and we're supplying the PSH argument to indicate to MSF Venom that we want the output as PowerShell. So once we ran that, we just uploaded it to a publicly available resource like GitHub so that it could be downloaded and executed. And then we set up a way to run it and it being PowerShell, the only thing that's needed in order for it to bypass the antivirus on a fully updated Windows machine running Defender is simply something called an AMSI bypass. And there's a lot of information on how to get a working AMSI bypass on the internet, so I'll leave that up to the viewer. Um, but once you have one, it's as simple as running that AMSI bypass first, and then just running the PowerShell interpreter afterward. So now that it looks like our handler is set up ready to go, we can copy the two commands we want to run, and we can head over to the server that we'll be running them on. So here we are we can see that real-time protection is turned on, cloud-delivered protection is turned on. And now if we go and open up a PowerShell terminal, and paste these two commands in, you'll see the first one runs, and that's our AMZ bypass, which will return a true. And then the second one is our interpreter uh, PowerShell uh, reverse shell. And if we click Enter, and then go back to our Kali Linux machine, you can see that we now have a valid interpreter session. So if I type something like sysinfo, you can see that worked. And I can try get UID. And you can see that also worked. And we're running as administrator. So that shows that interpreter um, was able to execute successfully on the system, even though it had Defender enabled. Um, so now we want to do something more with our access so we could try to dump the hashes and then pass the hash and log in as another user. So to do that, uh, since we already have Meterpreter, uh, Meterpreter has an inbuilt function called hash dump. So we can try running that. And this may take a few seconds, but that's okay. Just need to wait. Okay, so there you see a bunch of hashes just got dumped to our terminal. And I think it's this many because the machine that I ran it on is actually a domain controller uh, in which I filled in with a bunch of dummy data, including user accounts. So that's what we're seeing right now. Um, so, but any of these accounts can be used to pass the hash uh, for our purposes. Um, but as you can see, our hash dump command worked and if we go back to our uh, machine right here, it does not look like it was detected uh, by Defender. And we can confirm that by doing a, another command from our interpreter, like get UID. And if we get some output back, that means that our interpreter is still alive and well. So now that we've dumped all these hashes, we want to try to use them and log in as another user. So to do that, we can use uh, another one of interpreter's features. Uh, to port forward to a specific service that we want to use uh, in order to log in to the system using a hash. So for example, uh, port 5985 is for WinRM, and if we forward that port through Meterpreter, we can then use that in order to log in as another user on the system. So I'm going to run this command, which sets up the port forwarding, and now from here we can try logging in and passing the hash with one of these accounts that we got. So I'm going to go to another terminal. And from here, we can use the evil win RM utility, like so. 
And you can see this is evil WinRM. We're specifying the local host as that's where we port forwarded to. And the user we're going to be logging in as is Larry. And then his hash is right here. And this was all obtained from the hash dump that we just ran. So if we now click enter, you'll eventually see a uh, prompt pop up right here and it says we're in uh, users Larry's documents. So if I run a who am I, you can see that I am indeed Larry. And Larry is kind of special because he's part of the domain admins, which we can check like this and confirm that that's correct. So this is a way to pass the hash using evil WinRM and using Metasploit. Um, without triggering the antivirus at all. So if we go back here, we can see that it's still enabled and looks like nothing happened. Um, and then from here, if you wanted to go even further, you could, um, you could background our interpreter right here and then write exploit again and hit enter. And now if we wanted to spawn a interpreter as the user that we pass the hash to, we could simply just rerun uh, the commands that we ran before to get the PowerShell interpreter running, except as uh, Larry through evil WinRM. So we'll run the first command, which is our AMZ bypass. And you can see that that returned to true. And then we can run the command to actually download and execute PowerShell interpreter. And then if we go back to our interpreter window, we can see we have the session. We can run sysinfo. And if we run get UID, you can see that we're now Larry and we're no longer administrator. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a simple way of getting interpreter working on a fully updated Windows machine with Defender enabled and then using evil WinRM as a method of passing the hash. Thank you.